my first ever YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my first ever episode. And today, guys, it's about my tackle box. I just want to share my tackle box because I think it's so cool. And let's hop right into it. You. So, my tackle box comes with hooks, sinkers, lures, everything, guys. It's going to be so sick. Um, so, yeah, let's hop right into it. Right. So, opening this thing up right now and see what we got here. Alright, so, we got some pretty strong hooks. That's not too bad, eh? That could catch you a fish. Like, I mean, that could catch you a fish. Now, next, pretty long hooks for this. Like, uh, I'll get a bigger one. There we go. Gotcha. Herring hook, I think they're called. Herring hooks, guys. It's not too bad. I think they'll catch you a little fish. Who knows? Um, you're basically going to need this all the time. A pair of swivels. Swivels. Really good for your lead line. Your leader and your braid line or mono. Here, guys. I um, don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it clips open like that. Uh, 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 and then clips under like that. It's pretty cool. So you tie your line onto that little hole there and then you hook, put your lure on there. Pretty good. Alright guys, we're smacking straight into the lures. Pretty quick. So we've got self plastics here. Not that bad, not too shabby. We've got another version of self plastic. Small one with a small hook. Um, and this one could catch you a small like bait fish or something. Something like that. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. But we'll just go hop in the second layer. Now, guys, we already got some sinkers. Oh, I dropped it. Very sad. All right, this is what is. This is a good sinker. It's pretty heavy. Well, not that heavy. But we got another version of a smaller sinker. And smaller sinker of the downsize. And the smallest one. Well, I got a smaller one. But yeah, I'll show you quick. Uh, I'm about to show you a small one. And it's extremely tiny. That's how big that small one is. It's like a, it's so tiny guys. All right guys, I think I just searched it. And orange fishing beads I searched. And they are called heron attractors. These, you put straight through the hole where it is, like there. And it's meant to go with the long hooks that I showed you, the long gold ones. And it's meant to catch herring, which are bait fish. They're really good bait fish. And they grow about like this big, pretty big guys for a bait fish. So yeah, it's pretty good. Guys, they punched us up with some pretty good lures. This came in the mail today. So this is what we got. A gold and red lure. It's not too bad actually. It's actually pretty good, so not too bad. Right here, guys, we got a popper. These are really good for like in schools of fish. So say you come across some GTs, Queenies, or some stuff, you flick it straight out and then you let it sit, yanking it, and this part right here splashes all the water out. So it's like a reaction of a hurt fish. That's just splashing and trying to get away from bigger fish and they just go bang rip on those hooks there and they'll catch you a good fish man all right so i found another soft plastic and this is meant for barramundi and barramundi mango jack salmon like catfish if you want to put this down in the jeep just do that it's got two hooks that's pretty good that will catch you a fish definitely guys like that will smash a fish like the barramundi, they suck their food up and they'll just go straight down to their throat. Bang, rip her up. Won't get away. Trust me. But if it does, that's crazy, guys. Right, guys, what I got here is very small and very cheap and very weak line. It's a baby hand line. Like, look how small this is. It's just almost bigger than my hand. Look at the thick line on this thing. But I think this would be good for a pad nossa video, like practicing your how to do your rigs and your lines up. So comment down below if I should do um, a rig line setup with this and show you guys how to do it. That's, yeah, so not too bad actually. 
guys, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. The scaler. So you rub it on and just rip all those scales off. And if you guys can see here, if you guys can see this, I'd be pretty surprised. But it's a measurer. So you can measure like your bait fish in that and you measure how much you want. As it said on the box when it came, a plastic hook remover. So once I save up all my money, I'm gonna get a fishing rod and I get my get my good tackle and I'll show you what it looks like now. So got a big end for a big hook and a small end for a small hook. It's not too bad. Even though it's for plastic, it's pretty solid. Like didn't even break it. Pretty good. Alright guys, two of the most important things you could ever take on a fishing trip. Not water, not food, not bait, not hooks, not sinkers. It's sunscreen and zinc. This is green zinc and it's 50 plus sunscreen protection. That's pretty good. And this one is 50 plus too. So just go bang, 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 bang. That'd be so good guys. This is a really good sunscreen and zinc. So just go to the chemist and it'll be there for you. Thanks guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, smash that like button if you enjoyed it. It's up to you. Comment down below if you want me to do more of these videos. And later on, we'll do some action videos like catching big mud crabs, fish, um, all the sort of cool stuff. Um, and hope you guys enjoy this video. And we'll see you next time on more action and tackle box stuff. Yeah.